Hello and welcome to Shindu.org. In this video, let's understand how you can create a pivot table that replicates profit and loss statement, income statement style calculations. So this is what we are trying to do. Look at the percentage column here. These numbers, whatever number you see here, is as a percentage of total sales value. So 4.81 percentage of your expenditure for purchases ABC is uh, the, the, that number 4.81 is actually a percentage of your total sales value so that's uh, that's how uh, we wanted to calculate now let's see how you can uh, use uh, pivot tables along with a little known trick as add calculated field or add measure in excel 2013 and above so we have some data like this some ledger entries with uh, uh, the category subcategory of that value and then how much amount that is so you have some sales and various types of expenditures um, in, in the amounts now if you were to create a normal pivot table so you go to home insert pivot table and then just say get me a pivot table from this data and uh, if you put a category sub subcategory and then amount you can see the amount so these are the amounts I'll bring the sales uh, up uh, we can do it in any number of ways I'll just uh, sort it in in descending order so that will give me that amount values there and that's the amount now I want to see how much this number is as a percentage of my total sales how much that number is as a percentage of my total sales we could add the amount column again but this time right click and then say uh, show value as percentage of and then I can pick a category I can say base field should be category sales but this would not work well uh, because um, it, it will not give me those values right um, th that's that's not correctly working so that's that's one of the limitations of that approach so what we need in this case is a calculation that that looks at the amount value and calculate so that's a uh, slightly different and uh, to do that what we will use is we will use a different trick so we go to the same table insert pivot table but this time when you are inserting we will first enable the data model feature of Excel so we will say add this uh, pivot table to the data model the, that table to the data model uh, and then you will get a new pivot table again everything looks same but I have already added the measures here uh, we will go from scratch so we will add category subcategory amount and then uh, I'll, I will again uh, sort in descending order so sales amount is above uh, and um, and then we will go to design enable uh, subtotal as well so there is a subtotal amount now what we want to do is we want to set up a calculation that finds out how much this number is as a percentage of that number total sales value so th there are uh, different ways to do this but the easiest would be right click on the table and then say add measure now that option would not be visible on a normal table you can't right click and add a measure because this is a normal pivot table whereas this pivot table is coming from data model we could add a measure now remember for this to work you need to be having Excel 2016 or Excel 2013 with power pivot in 2016 or office 365 you have power pivot by default in uh, in future whenever 2019 version of Excel comes through uh, that option will be there as well so in older versions you would need power pivot for that button to appear uh, but in modern Excel you will have it so we will add a measure and then this opens up this box where we can write a formula so I'll write the formula we will call this formula as percentage of total sales I just want to make sure that this uh, measure name is not clashing with what I have already defined and here we can define a measure now this is a two-part measure uh, we want to calculate what is this number as a percentage of that number so there, there is a numerator and a denominator so we will calculate the top part the, the amount the amount is nothing but your sum of uh, data amount column right so that's that's the amount whatever is the amount that you see there that's that's the amount this is sum so that's what it is then we want to divide this with an amount that is equal to the category of sales so for that we will use a special word called calculate 
um, calculate is a function in power pivot uh, this this entire language we are writing here is called DAX and um, uh, so we want to calculate sum of data amount first we will get all the data and then we will say data um, oops I wonder why the data category is equal to sales now let's take a look at the this this measure what we are doing here is sum of amount divided by sum of amount when you look at all the data and filter down to sales category so that would be whatever is that number 147,160 so we can check the formula there is no errors and uh, I will format this as a percentage and then click OK so now that measure is added I can I can add that measure to the table and we can see the the calculation here right now in, in this style there is no point having grand totals and so I'll get rid of the uh, the grand total and then this is that so that's the measure now if you don't want to see those numbers you just want to see these numbers and ignore that number that means if the category is already sales then we don't want anything then what you could do is you could also add a little bit of if formula calculation so I'll explain that measure here I have already written uh, this is the measure it's uh, slightly bigger than the other one but uh, essentially what we are doing is uh, we are checking if the category is not equal to sales then only we want to divide in other cases we just want blank we don't want any values so that's the logic but we cannot directly write it uh, had you been writing this measure in power bi then you could use selected value function uh, but uh, in in excel for power pivot uh, power pivot for excel we, we will be using has one value uh, if values data category sales at least in my my version of excel i don't have selected value measure so that's that uh, but in any case i think this is a little too much uh, whereas the earlier measure what we have written is is very easy to understand so i would say if if you have never done something like this in excel then get started with uh, with this kind of writing measures because essentially you have finer control on how the numbers are calculated in pivot tables and the DAX language that is used is so much powerful you could build some very very cool things with with this logic so give it a go uh, and, uh, and and check out this now beneath the video description in the video description there is a example file download link as well so go ahead and download this workbook and uh, that way you can actually examine the measures and the way pivot table is set up and maybe even calculate something on your own if you have any questions or something about power pivot uh, related measures on uh, doing this style of PNL income statement calculations uh, post a comment and thank you so much for watching the video please subscribe to chendu.org YouTube channel for more videos and click on the bell icon uh, to, to get notified whenever there is a new video thanks bye bye